What we had talked about before the season was actually, you know, particularly after having, you know, a near-death experience and all of that, that Raina was going to really have this kind of, like, take no prisoners sort of lease on life. And then with the voice loss, too, I think it's really, it is, I think, going to be a time of both rediscovery and really making it the life that she wants. And that's, that's what I'm hoping, anyway. Tell me that you haven't been lying to me every moment of the last 13 years. I'm always a big Raina and Deacon fan, so I'm I'm any time that they get to be together, I'm I'm always happy about and and I think it'll be really interesting to watch this season to see the different ways that their lives sort of intertwine because I think after the accident they both kind of realize, okay, maybe better not to try to spend too much time together, and yet they're thrown together a lot. Why do you even want to go out on tour with me? You hate me. I only hate sunburns and hangovers. This is just business. Rain and Juliet together, I think, are so, it's such a fun dynamic. And, you know, last year it was great to see them sort of thrown together in this concert situation. And, and so this season, I'm hoping that they will find their paths crossing again because there's always, you know, they're, they're so different. They're so fundamentally different. And then there are so many similarities, too. So it's always fun to play around with all that.